Welcome to Salesian College. Come in, I'll show you around. This is our Becky welcome video. Let me introduce you to a few people and show you around. I'd like to introduce you to Miss Romano. She's your Year 7 coordinator, and I think it's a perfect opportunity for her to tell you a little bit about her role. Hi boys, nice to see you. I'm looking forward to meeting you next year in 2021. It's gonna be a fantastic year. Um, as your coordinator, I'm here to support you in your learning. Um, we've got many different subjects here at the college on offer, so very exciting for you in your transition to high school. I'm also here to support you from a partial care element in any concerns that you have. I know the Year 7s coming into the college in 2021 and parents have a lot of questions about their son's transition into high school. So Rob, let's answer some of the questions. Let's fire away. <laughs> Will my son be allocated to classes with his friends from primary school? This is a very common question, uh, one that comes up every year. And the simple answer to it is, where possible, we um, will try to get them into a class with one of their mates. However, there are a number of factors which sometimes preclude boys being allocated to classes with their primary school friends. The reality is there are the Sports Academy and the Beretta classes, and they are by selection. And so if boys are selected in or out of those classes, they may not end up in those classes. Also, we do talk to the primary schools to find out partnering that works and partnering that doesn't work. So that also plays into our um, allocation of boys to classes. The one clear message I want to make, however, is once you've been at the college, once you've been on camp, your friends from primary school won't be as significant factor as you're understanding now. So please don't get too anxious about it. The reality is it won't be long before you'll have multiple friends across the whole year level. How much homework do Year 7 students get? This is quite a common question, Year 7s. Um, in terms of homework, you are going to notice a little bit of a transition from Grade 6 to Year 7 boys. You're going to have about 8 different subjects or less, okay? Um, but that does not mean you're going to get homework in every single subject, okay? We are here um, as your coordinator and you're going to have a wonderful oratory teacher as well to support you in Year 7. They're going to really guide you through your homework. Um, it's not going to be too hard. We're all in it together. We're here to support you. Sorting out how to get my son to school safely is important. What public transport or charter bus options are available? It's a very complex question. Um, what I'll start with is that 80% of our boys make their way to school by public transport. We are in a very fortunate situation that there are a number of bus lines that run to our door. And so most of the boys will catch that public transport. We also offer two charter buses from Narry Warren and Keysborough, and they run through from those areas through to the college and they have a number of pickup points so they are also available to um, families if they choose to use it. The one thing you can be reassured with 80% of our boys catching public transport there will always be a friendly Salesian face there to support you. So guys look forward to the challenge and the independence of being on the um, public transport with your mates. Is there a camp and how long are the U7 students away from home? fantastic camp, Camp Rumbug. If you ask any of our students at the college, they're always going to tell you that one of the most memorable moments at Year 7 is the Camp Rumbug, so they're in Gippsland. So we take a bus down to Gippsland for two nights and three days. Um, we do canoeing, we do orienteering, we do abseiling, wonderful activities, something to really get excited about. Camp Rumbug, probably the highlight of a Year 7 experience here at Salesian. Now boys, you've probably heard enough from us adults. It's probably more important to hear it from students who've gone through it over the last couple of years. And it's my pleasure to introduce you to a letter from Will Thurston, one of our Year 8 boys, who takes you through some of his experiences in his Year 7 year. I hope you enjoy it. Here's a letter from Will. Dear boys, I'm Will and I'm in Year 8 at Salesian College, Chadston. As you finish your last year at primary school, I bet you're looking at year seven and you're wondering what's going to happen. 
Well, besides a lot more homework and exams, you guys will be fine. First thing that will happen in term one is Camp Rumba. You'll connect with people outside of your class and meet other people you may have never met before. Camp was a great memory, and it's certainly where I made all my friends. Another thing to look forward to at Salesian is the canteen. With a $2 donut and a $2 drink, nothing is better than lining up for 10 minutes to get your lunch and recess. So remember to bring your money and you'll find the best foods at the lowest prices. Now you might have half the school come to Salesian, or you might be the only person from your school, and that's okay. See, I was the only person from my school and I made friends in no time. But you're gonna need somewhere to learn, right? Well, that's where the new classrooms come. You guys will be the second year level to use them because they're brand new. The academic class provides many challenges for those who wish to challenge themselves. Being a part of the Beretta class gave me the opportunity to excel at my subjects and get extra help from specialized teachers. If sport is your thing, then we have that too. The Sport Academy is a tailored program for talented young athletes. But if you don't want to be in the Sports Academy and still want to play sport, that's okay too. You have many opportunities to show off your skills against other schools. Played all year round on Thursdays, tryouts are held to get the strongest team to represent the school. If you don't get in, sport is still played every Thursday in your houses with a variety of matches played every week. Settling into high school can be tough, but if you ever need anything, the wellbeing team are always ready to help and so are your teachers. Remember to speak up when you need to. There really are so many kids and people at the school that will help you have a great time at Salesia. Good luck. I had the pleasure of coordinating Will last year and those memories and, and points that he talked about in his letter really drive home the message boys that there are so many things to look forward to here in Year 7 at Salesian College. We're going to head down to the tech rooms now and hear from Luca. Welcome to the Design and Technology Department. My name is Luca Tranafilu and I'm in Year 9 and as far as I'm concerned, this is the best department in Salesian College. And in Year 7, you get to make such amazing things and uh, I'll go show you some. So let me tell you guys, there are such amazing things that you can do in here. You can do woodwork, metalwork, conceptual art, like over there, like woodwork, like that is so nice. But my favorite part about this department is making these robots. Like, they are so cool. And trust me, you guys are gonna have so much fun in year seven. We have some fantastic teachers here who we have a ton of respect for. But now, your next stop is with my mate Andrew down in the sports department. Welcome to the sports department. This is the Oval. I'm Andrew Tan and I'm in year eight. This is the best department in all the school's departments. When I was in year seven, I had the best time of my life with every single sport, ranging from swimming to cross country. If you guys like soccer, follow me over to the pitch. That is the Maddox campus. And in front of the Maddox campus is a soccer pitch a soccer pitch in which we have won loads of games against Catholic colleges around Victoria. We have the best facilities here at Salesian, along with the best teachers and coaches that teach us and show us what it feels like to belong to a team. I have made so many friends in sporting teams as well. Hi, my name is Elvin Yala and I'm in Year 10. Welcome to the Performing Arts Department. Probably the best place in the college. So, I play the piano and I also play the viola. But I picked up the viola as a Year 7 student at our college. Out of all of the instruments, I could have chosen any. But I certainly chose viola and I certainly enjoy that the most. And because I play two instruments, I have the choice to join the string orchestra, the string quartet, concert band and best of all, stage band. I'll tell you that later. So one of my greatest achievements is receiving the music scholarship for year 10. 
and that has helped me with my financial support throughout the music curriculum at our school. Let me tell you a bit about our tours. So we have a tour at Bright, we have a tour at Gold Coast, and we have a tour at Hawaii. And one of those bands that go there is this one right here. Come in. enough you'll be able to be part of our production next year Greece now my next stop will be with my colleague Adam who will be introducing you to the science department welcome to the science department I'm Adam Caravilla and I'm in year 8 and as far as I'm concerned this is the best department in Salesian College when I first arrived I had never done science before, and I've had some great experiences ever since. We did things like learning about new lab equipment and lab safety. We did physics. Uh, we also uh, did very cool experiments that were dangerous and exciting. Now come follow me. Now let me show you this. In the science department, we have the best facilities. Like, just look at this laboratory. Now let me show you another experiment. thought that was fun. Wait right till you see what they do in the art department. So go see my friend Joseph and he'll tell you all about it. Hello, my name is Joseph Gassaselli. I'm from Year 8 and this is the art department, what I think is the best department in the school. Um, here at the art department, it's very fun, be very creative and you can get a lot of enjoyment and satisfaction out of all your artworks that you do. Over here we've got some photography, back there is a bit of painting, and yeah, over here is something that you'll be able to do in year seven. This is some charcoal and painting our like pots, and it's really fun, and you get a lot of satisfaction knowing that you put a lot of work into it. Um, now over here there's a few stuff that we do in year seven, such so foam printing and our animals and stuff, and just this facility is amazing. Um, we're so lucky to have it here at Salesian and it's just the best. Um, let me just take you to one of the art rooms here. Um, this is a typical classroom for art, and you have a lot of fun here. The teachers here are amazing, they're lovely, they'll help you with everything you need, and um, you'll be able to get a lot of work done here, and it'll be really fun. Like you can see, there's some modeling here, and not only is this modeling, you could use this for drawing, digital drawing, and other stuff as well. This is VCD, Visual Communication Design, the best part of art. Here in VCD, we do a lot of computer-generated graphics, and this is only the start of multimedia. This is the multimedia room. In multimedia, there were so many different facets that you will learn, but the best part about this 
is making movies just like this. This is only a snapshot of what you're going to get up here at Salegian College. One of the biggest parts is belonging to one of our four houses, Annecy, Collinson, Savio and Moroni. Congratulations, because you belong to... Welcome to Moroni House, boys. And this is to our leaders, Joseph and Josh. Why is it so great to be Moroni House? Well, without the Moroni family, there's no Salesian. And without that, with no Salesian, you boys will not be here to have a fantastic education. It's not just about the education, but I also think it's about the experiences that Salesian has to offer to us. And because they offer so much, uh, so many things, I think that it enables us to belong into something um, special. And with Moroni, I think that um, they've done it well. So one of the best things about School Wi-Fi, I think, is the Swimming in Athletics Carnival. It was a really great time to you know, get to know the boys, um, especially after camp, come back from camp, get right into our swimming carnival. You've already got your group of mates, or all of them are your mates, hopefully. Um, and it's just a really fun time, especially with me personally, be swimming. Um, I'm not athletic at all, uh, I'm better in the water. Um, so, uh, especially that swimming carnival, it's just a really fun time. And that free swim, obviously, like you can't, like I think every boy remembers that from yeah. year seven, just every single kid in year seven jumping in that pool, yeah. just going nuts. Even if you can't swim. Yeah, you just yeah. jump in and walk to the other end if you really want to. It's just a really great day. Obviously at the England for Moroni is the night. So what does the night represent for you? Uh, for me personally, it's a lot of the strength in unity, um, which is a very key aspect of a house, I, I think. Um, you know, as it the, is our motto. Yeah, it is our motto. Um, and two of the main aspects, I think, um, of the night is you know, to um, be together you know, in an integral manner and um, in a respectful way. Um, so you don't, you know, as we're trying to reach out to the broader community, um, you, know, you want to have that respect and the mutual respect for your houses as well. You don't want to, you know, bag other houses and stuff. Well, you can, but you don't want to, um, you know, attack other parts of the Salesian community because in the end, you know, we are all one. Um, I think that's what this night sort of represents for us um, as a house and a culture. The importance of your house will stay with you throughout your time at school. But the heart of our main ethos is being a Salesian boy, which is significant and unique Let's take you to the cultural ambassador, Phil McKenzie and Mr. Brendan Douglas, assistant principal. Well, boys, welcome to the Salesian College Chapel. This is the very heart of who we are here at the school. This is Phil, and Phil is our cultural captain here at the college. At Salesian, we are an all boys Catholic school uh, in the Salesian tradition and many of the reasons why we do the things we do here emanate from this very place. So St John Bosco, who was inspired by the teachings of Jesus, recognised at his time the poor young boys on the streets of Turin. Uh, he wanted to give them a really good education so that they would have a good chance in the world. Now at Salesian, that hasn't changed. We still want what's best for our boys because we know that the world needs good men. We need good fathers, we need good bosses, we need good blokes. Uh, and we believe uh, that there are some wonderful opportunities here to develop that. And if I look at my friend here, Phil, I'm seeing a terrific example of just that. So Phil, do you think you could tell us a little bit about uh, what it means to be a Salesian boy in 2020? Coming into year seven from year six, honestly, it's a different experience from the primary school uh, environment to now the secondary school environment. But here at Salesian, honestly, they, they had open arms when they welcomed you and all of the teachings just during any class about, uh, about how to be a good, a good person in society, just being able to respect yourself, respect others, have integrity when you talk and being able to hold yourself in a position where you don't have to change the world, but you can honestly just be your best self in any given situation. And that journey from year seven to now, it's honestly been one of the best experiences of my life. Made some good friends, Phil? Uh, honestly, probably mates for life, if mm -hmm. I'm honest. I think it'll last forever. And do you feel like you do you feel like you're on the pathway that you want to be on? I think the path to be a good man can start in these solid roots and Salesian has really opened that and I, I honestly do. Yeah, it's great. At Salesian, 
The pastoral care uh, system is at the heart of everything that we do. Uh, all our wellbeing programs, our academic programs, uh, our support programs have got the boys in the very centre of uh, what we're trying to do. Have you felt that, Phil? Yeah, it's, it's very open armed here and very welcoming. It's a very tight community. Here. So this idea of family is, is critical uh, as we're watching the boys grow. Uh, and as we grow, we communicate. Uh, and as the boys go through their journey, the ups and downs of life here at Salesian, uh, we are with them and we're with their families. Uh, and we're confident that when they get through here, that they'll have what it takes to be the successful young man who's ready to go out and take on the world. And even on the lowest lows, you know, the staff here and all of the mates here and the wellbeing team, the communities are just very helpful and are able to get you back on your feet. Which is really what we're trying to do. Uh, make that good solution then. Thanks for coming boys, we'll see you again soon.